Good day, everybody. Blackheart6, uh, welcome back. Uh, we're going to do another subject here, another topic uh, called save and load. As you can see, I'm missing that. Um, to be honest with you, there's really nothing that's going to go in here uh, on this world layer. It's just there as a placeholder. Um, but we will set up save and load on this uh, mod. Let me bring this over. Okay. So here is the section on save and load in the wiki, and it tells you that the scenario framework offers a save and load feature for all scenarios created using this system. In the current state, it is very rudimentary, and it is taking advantage of the structured hierarchical setup of the whole system. So it's in its infancy, and it needs some work, and it's going to have to expand a little bit before. Now, notice it says... For all scenarios created using this system, if you are one of those um, creators that is mixing systems using conflict campaign and scenario framework and capture and hold, and you're you're changing things uh, in that respect, this may not work for you because it's got to maintain its formation, and the serialized data is going to be different for something like a campaign game mode that you're mixing. So um, here is uh, the serialized data. You don't, this is what it's doing. This is what it's adding um, or saving. And that's it right now. Notice there's no information about loadouts here, uh, player positioning, anything like that. It's just the very basics um, uh, that it's, it's keeping hold of right here. All right, so to set this thing up, all right, it says here, uh, to whole system. In order to serialize your work, you need to set up your save load component on your game mode and add the scenario framework structs into it. Here is the example of how to set it up for the combat ops on Arland. All right, so that it tells you right there. So let's go. First of all, let's open up. Let's go to combat ops Arland. Let's open that up. see what it tells us all right so we're looking for the game mode and then we're going down here it said to add this component to the game mode okay and it's very simple um, so you have struck uh, I don't know if that's like construct or st but it's struck structure obviously um, so it's struck mission struck metas blank and then struck zero is the scenario framework structure Okay, so you have the same load coming up. Okay, easy enough. Easy peasy. Okay, so let's go up to our game mode. Uh, I, I have not added it yet here. So we're going to add a component called save load component. You add it. And then here we set the struct class. Click on it. It opens that up. You hit this and set the class to scenario framework st struct. And that's it. That's all you do. Um, auto save period. You can set... The auto save period, what's to say, six seconds is the lowest acceptable value otherwise. So I think it's set normally to 120 every two minutes. So we've got that saved. Now, in your mission header, so we've got this set up here, but to, to completely set this thing up from end to end, you need to go to your mission header. And I do believe you need to finish this part. Um, under say or is saving enabled? Yes. And what is the save file name? I usually just go, you know, underscore SFW save. And that's all you add here. Now, in. Your 
startup parameters. In your startup parameters, um, where is it? Load session save. So if you add this switch to your startup file or however you start your server in the startup parameters, you load this session save um, to your line, then you can load the file and the file name should be the same one that you used over here. So Eden underscore SFW save. I would put that in my um, startup parameter and it would load that. Okay, at whatever whatever saved position it is at. So, okay, I do believe that's how that works as far as on the server side. Um, haven't done a lot with session session saves. Uh, just I don't have a need to uh, to to work with it right now at this point. So, um, but that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Um, you know, there's not a whole lot there. Just add that component, set it up. If you forget how to set it up, don't remember then just open up the Combat Ops Arland and look at the, how they did their session saves. Okay, appreciate it. That's it. Y'all have a great day.